Hello everyone, Ace here, and today, well, I'm just going to have to go ahead and say it. Rockstar's recently announced Red Dead Redemption port is already a disaster, and the game hasn't even come out yet. Or at least the remaster hasn't come out yet. It's already showing signs of being one of the most lazy remasters of all time. And you may be wondering how we already know this. And the answer is because of the hardware that it is being made for. Specifically, the Red Dead Redemption remaster is being made for the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 with the game being backwards compatible with the PlayStation 5. So strike one is the fact that there is still no PC version of the game, at least provided that you don't emulate the game, and at this point, PC players are well within the rights to emulate it, given the behavior of Rockstar. Seriously, if you're a PC gamer, then at this point, just get yourself an old PS3 emulator, pop the DVD into your CD tray, and just play it that way. You'll likely be getting a better experience than what Rockstar is going to be providing anyways. Strike two is also the fact that Xbox owners are getting completely ignored as well from this release. But at least Xbox owners have the option of playing the Xbox 360 version on modern hardware. But then we get to Strike 3, which is the fact that while the game is being made for the PS4 and can be played on the PS5, there is no dedicated PS5 version of the game. You know, despite the fact that the PS4 is last gen, and the PS5 has been around since 2020. Again, really highlighting just how lazy Rockstar seems to be with this remaster. And on that subject, I need to bring up the dishonest marketing surrounding this game. As Rockstar tweeted out, stating that the game would be available for modern PlayStation systems, even though it's only a PS4 version just being made backwards compatible for the PS5. That's like saying that Battlefield 4 from 2013 is made for modern systems because technically you can play that on a PS5 as well. Rockstar isn't even letting people buy this game for cheap either as it's apparently going to be costing $50. You know, for a remaster that is made for last-gen hardware when it comes to PlayStation owners, as well as for the Nintendo Switch, which, while the Switch is good, the Switch is not good because of its hardware capabilities. It's good because it's a handheld that doubles as a home console. All of this is to say that you should avoid buying this remaster like the plague. Even if you have every intention of picking this game up, then at the very bare minimum, wait until you see other people trying it out just to see how much of a broken mess it is first before fully committing, if you decide to fully commit at that point. Ultimately, what else is there to say aside from what the hell is going on at Rockstar? I suppose I should also mention that Red Dead Revolver is still getting ignored. You know, the first title of the Red Dead Redemption franchise that everyone seems to have forgotten about, including Rockstar. Though at this point, I suspect that that may be more of a mercy than a punishment. At least going by what we've seen of both the Grand Theft Auto trilogy and now this current controversy surrounding the Red Dead Redemption remaster. This is also of course going to raise some concerns over the state of Grand Theft Auto 6, because again we're at the point where Rockstar can't even do remasters properly, let alone a brand new game being built from the ground up. So with all of that said, I will of course be leaving links in the description below to the sources that I have used, so you can check them out for yourself if you should so desire. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.